What's up, Panther Nation? The CPG. Um, I'm here to talk about the Carolina Panthers and um, an issue that's really, probably, most certainly, what has us sitting at a one in five record. <clears throat> And that all starts with one man, and that man's name is Dave Gettleman. And I have been a Dave Gettleman supporter from day one, but my perspective is changing more and more as time goes by. Um, there's so many players coming out ripping Gettleman for... The way he handles players, um, the way he just takes risk, like he doesn't want to pay any of our stars not named Cam Newton and Luke Keekley. And, I mean, if you don't believe me, just look at it. He's done it. First player he got rid of as our general manager was John Beeson, which I didn't mind back then because Beeson stayed hurt all the time. And he ended up, when he went to the Giants, he ended up staying hurt all the time, too. That's why he retired. Um, but after that, he got rid of Steve Smith, D'Angelo Williams, Josh Norman. And K1 Short's probably next on the list because he's probably not going to pay him. Um, he got rid of that secondary. And we're, we're sitting here with an inexperienced group of people. Um, we don't have any pass rush. He has not done anything to address it because he thinks the answer is on the roster because he doesn't believe in paying our star players. And I mean, we were on the verge of possibly winning our first championship. And this man destroys it all because he thinks them players didn't help us get there. Now look where we're at. We're 1-5. Staring one and six right in the fucking face in the form of the Arizona Cardinals after this bye week. There's no reason we should be one and five. We were a 15 and one team built to win, built to win now, and you fucked that all up, man. Not saying I hate Gettleman, I'm just saying I hate some of the decisions he's made that's led us to where we're at. I'll keep handing for life, but ultimately he's the one that made the decisions that's led to where we are where we are now. Which is not a good place. I had such a good feeling in the off season that we were about to have our first ever back to back winning season. That may still happen if we can break off some incredible run like we've done before, but is it likely? I don't know. But, I mean, you can't just get rid of the star players and expect to keep up the same type of caliber of play. That, that's stupid. I mean, I, I don't know, man. It's just... I thought Gettleman was going to be the general manager to get our shit together. He's good at with the cap. I'll give him that, but... But he just... Apparently, he doesn't know how to handle talent. Because... All he does is piss players off. He, he can't come to a deal with no one named Cam and Luke. I... Pretty sure we're gonna lose K1 short after this season. Then our defense is really gonna be fucking garbage because all we're gonna have is Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley. I, I don't know, man. And he got rid of the one Panther that should have retired a Panther. And that's this guy. Steve Smith.
Steve Smith should have retired a Carolina Panther. I'm not, I'm one of the many Panther fans that think that. I love Steve Smith, man. That's my favorite Panthers player of all time. I don't give a fuck. I'll tell you this, though. If Gettleman is still our general manager and we don't retire, retire <clears throat> Steve Smith's jersey, I'm going to be very mad. I, I'm expecting the Panthers to... Hold on, let me let me clarify. I'm expecting Jerry Richardson because I I can trust Jerry Richardson. I'm expecting Jerry to retire 89 once at some point after Steve Smith retires, which this is his last season. So at some point after this season, who knows? Maybe next season. Maybe like maybe a few years from now they retire 89. But I want it done. I know a lot of Panthers fans do. That's why no one has won War 89 since Smitty left. Because they know we'd be on their asses if they did. And Steve Smith deserves to have his jersey retired. All the shit Smitty did for us, all the years we sucked. Smitty deserves better. He deserved better. But all the players we've let go deserve better. No wonder D'Angelo's bitter as shit on Twitter these days. It's probably Gettleman's ass. Benet's probably that way too now that he got released for no fucking reason. Um, Josh Norman's Josh Norman. He's like the defensive version of Steve Smith, so I don't fucking know. <laughs> but, um... That's what I got for you today. Keep down the Panther Nation.